Geomagic Sculpt allows very easy design of custom cranial plates into a patient's specific bone structure using the Sketch Modeler. First, you create four curves around the missing area of the skull. Make sure to fit the curves on the clay and that the endpoints match up. You will also need interior curves, so you switch off the clay setting to create them. The beauty of haptics is that you can actually feel the tangency. While you edit the curves, you can adjust the errors. And when you see the little red circle, you know that you are making the curve tangential to the clay. To create the second curve and create the network, just click roughly in the middle of the first intersection curve and mold that again to be tangential to the clay. In order to create a patch, you have to split the curves. To do that, you simply select all of the curves and select Split Curves. Now you can simply select the split curves with the Sub-D tool and convert it to a Sub-D model. The orange patch is the Sub-D model. If it appears red, it is upside down and you just need to flip it around by selecting the boundary curves and swapping the normal. You can edit the Sub-D to your needs and make it match the clay. Later on, you will attach that Sub-D, first to a polygon model, and then to a clay model. You can also introduce more subdivision curves to have more flexibility in the editing. Just like you see here, it depends on the shape of the patch. Convert the shape to polygons, and now the mesh can be converted once again to clay. The advantage with clay is that you can set a thickness which is much better for manufacturing and also a better match for sculpting from left to right. In clay mode, you can edit a little closer to the clay using the tools. If you need a certain gap dimension between the plate and the skull, Create an offset of the skull and you will end up with an offset as an additional gap to end that plate and the original sculpt. Boolean out the original skull and you can quickly refine your design for 3D printing.